live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. All right, we have new information in on uh, Hurricane Matthew, still a Category 4 hurricane spinning around here in the Caribbean. It is a massive storm, and it will be devastating tonight for portions of Haiti, Jamaica, and Cuba as it moves right through the middle here, which means it's going to maintain its strength. There's very high mountains in here. There's also very high mountains in Cuba, and Jamaica sits right here, so they're already getting wind and rain from this system. The eye sits here about uh, 100 miles south of Haiti, and that's what we're going to be watching tonight as the system is extremely strong moving toward the north. Now the threat for impacts here in South Carolina, North Carolina and Georgia are increasing tonight. Let me show you the latest. It sits at 140 mile per hour winds moving toward the north at seven miles per hour. The latest track just in shows it will remain a category four hurricane moving through just near our naval base in Guantanamo there as a category four moving through the Bahamas right there as a category four weakening to a category three by Wednesday afternoon. This is when it starts to affect the mainland in the United States. You can see making a very close pass through South Florida here. Now this cone here shows you that there could be a track anywhere inside that cone. This middle red line simply is just the middle of the cone. It doesn't mean this is exactly where the track is going to be. So keep that in mind. As we move from Thursday into Friday, that's when the threat comes to Georgia, South Carolina and North Carolina. It looks like it'll either be at a category three or a category two as it moves either just offshore of Charleston and Myrtle Beach or on Sure. In fact, the cone of uncertainty goes all the way up to us along I-85. I now, two of our most reliable computer models, the GFS and the European, show impacts very close to shore. That's why we have the threat meter right now at a four out of a five, meaning strong winds and flooding are possible along the coast. Let me show you the spaghetti models. They're all in pretty good agreement. They're tight tightly compact, which means pretty good agreement here as they move through South Carolina, with most of them taking it just offshore of Charleston and Myrtle Beach. Now remember, the tropical storm force winds go out 200 miles, something like that. The hurricane force winds go out about 50 miles, so you'd have a track if it was any one of these, you'd have hurricane force winds right along the coast with tropical storm force winds going up to Columbia and the worst of it being out to sea. So depending on the track will depend on if it's a moderate impact impact or a high impact. The GFS and the Euro are both agreeing now. They're both agreeing it'll be on timing and strength. Cat 3, maybe a Cat 2. The European takes it just offshore. The GFS makes a landfall near Charleston. Let me show you that GFS model. Here's a look at the wind speeds. The green means hurricane force winds. The blue means tropical storm force winds greater than 40 miles per hour. You can see it moves through the Bahamas, goes just offshore of Florida. Then you get to Saturday morning. You have tropical storm force winds all the way to Columbia. We've got gusty winds here at home even. You've got heavy rain for Charleston, hurricane force winds there. That's the green in there. You've also got a landfall near Charleston and Myrtle Beach. Then it moves through Saturday afternoon through Myrtle Beach, Charleston, into Cape Lookout as a Category 1 or a Category 2 hurricane. And then it rides the coast up through Virginia Beach, then New York City. It's still a tropical storm moving through New York City, according to this latest computer model. And Boston is when it starts to weaken as it moves up through the east coast of Canada. All right, we're looking at a lot of rainfall as well. If this model were to hold true, we get five to eight inches across South Carolina. The European model shows a very similar path just off the shore by about 50 miles. The reason why we've seen this trend, the jet stream has slowed down. This is what's steering Matthew off the shore. Instead, it is going to come closer to shore, according to the latest computer models.